Hi, Slimbo. Uh, I just wanted to get back to you on your country thread and add a few of my own uh, if you want to check them out. Uh, the number one is these should be the considered to be the first K tell. It was released by Phil Knives back in the approximately 64 or 66. No date on it. Um, everyone's kind of guessing on Discog 64, but there's no date uh, anywhere on this album. So but it was kind of released around that time. Uh, Phil Knives released this album in Canada and without the, any of the artist's permission. He did the thing where he released it into the wild, and then as the money came in, he paid off the artist, and then the money came in, so they left him alone and didn't sue him or shut it down or anything like that. But this one has on here um, Patsy Klein Walking After Midnight, Jimmy Dean, Release Me, um, Hank Lachlan, Send Me the Pillow, Eddie Dean, Hillbilly Heaven. Uh, this one also has uh, Justin Tibbs, Mountain Dew. This is very... If you can see the, it's very classic country from the from this mid '60s. Um, not anything like we have today in the modern times at all, very much. But this is considered uh, officially when I saw there's a KTL story documentary, and this one is considered to be the first one. It's actually threw me off on Wikipedia. Wikipedia read it as 25 country greats, and that's not true. It's actually 25 country artists doing their original hits. I've confirmed it from like two different sources. So this. KTEL history tends not to always be correct, so uh, this is the one I'm pretty sure. Um, I did. There's a channel out there called 33 RPM, and if you go out there in this KTEL video, I actually I actually wrote up a whole uh, correction uh, paragraph for him in the comments just to make sure the sources were correct on this record. So the next country record that I wanted to show off is uh, this was kind of a popular one in the 80s. I had this uh, from a club, uh, Columbia House. When my dad let me order Columbia House Records when I was like eight, he did it for me. This is one of the ones I got. Um, it's a, I didn't. This is an exact one, but it's I bought it later. It's Kenny Rogers' greatest hits. Uh, the cool part is, is that if you didn't know the history on this one, is that Lady, the song was actually done by Lionel Richie. Uh, he wrote, he sang Lionel Richie's song. Lionel Richie got the Grammy for this one. Uh, this has, of course, the Gambler, um, Long Arm of the Law. Uh, you decorated my life. It's all his. It's, it's all his hits. This was a really popular album because it compiled everything that he had at that time. I remember actually, it's kind of a funny story. When Michael Jackson became popular, my aunt, I for some reason compared his popularity to Kenny Rogers, and I, even at that young age, I was like, I don't think so. I think Michael Jackson is like a lot more popular just in popularity. But she compared him to Kenny Rogers. So the, the, in this, my mind, this is my auntie Julie's. Um, this is her, Michael Jackson. And the last one I wanted to share with you is my Urban Cowboy soundtrack. Right here. Uh, she has a gatefold on it. It's a double album. Um, there he is on the uh, bull, so you can't get much more country than that. Pretty funny movie, too, because, you know, he's from Brooklyn, and he's playing this country hick. I mean, it was an acting thing, but it, for a lot of people at the time, it didn't work because they thought it was like Saturday Night Fever for country country stuff. I've watched the movie. I think it's really good. I think uh, Scott Glenn, who was in the right stuff, is a, as a, kind of the bad guy, does a really good performance. Anyways, this has on there the popular Anne Murray, Could I Have This Dance? Uh, she's Canadian, I believe, actually, too. Uh, Kenny Rogers, Love the World Away. Uh, this one also has in here Johnny Lee, Looking for Love. Looking for love in all the wrong places. But you're in the comedy, so... Buckwheat Sangs, and Buckwheat sang on SNL with Eddie Murphy, and he sang Wookin Punub in Alderwan Paces. That was uh, out about that time as well. I think it was based on that song. So, Also on here, but they also have some classic rock, we consider to be classic rock, Eagles, Lying Eyes. It also has Jimmy Buffett, Hello Texas. Um, so it's kind of a stretch as to all the people that were on this record, but um, you know, you can't get much more Texas Riding mechanical bills, bulls going to Gillies, you know the bar became huge because of this movie. So, just wanted to share what I had in my stuff and add to your country thread. Have a good night.